Hello, mm. uh, and welcome to The Talking Point. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, life. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we can put in there. Lots there. changed. I've got a chair and a haircut. <laughs> <clears throat> well, well, I was going to bring that up in the podcast. <laughs> the fact that after 137 episodes, I've finally given you a chair with a back. For the for the entire time we've been recording this podcast, you've been using it. I'll, I'll admit, you've been using my broken chair. This is a bit more comfortable. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> better. So we'll right. catch back up with uh, the last talking point, which was which web comics and uh, cartoons do you watch? And really, this was just a means of us to learn some new comics and cartoons to watch. Really, yeah, it was. It was a way to expand my ever growing list of web cartoons <laughs> that I keep up on. Yeah. Um, but it turns out that I'm kind of on top of most of them. <laughs> I'm not. There's a few that are in there that are new. So I can't even remember what we went with. Where's the I t- seem to remember I mentioned Weeble, maybe. Uh, you XKCD. went. You went for XKCD as your comic, and Weeble, uh, Weeble and Bob, particularly yeah. the Final Fantasy VII episode. For some reason it amuses me. Yeah. <laughs> and I went with uh, Salad Fingers for cartoon and JLA for the web comics. I was amazed the other day because on Reddit, what on the front page was a picture of a rusty spoon, <laughs> and the first comment was "Salad fingers related." I didn't realise it, kind of. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, we also mentioned a few other ones like uh, <coughs> "Missing Pony," uh, "Chavhemian Rhapsody," "Magical Trevor," and all that lot. Uh, what other people came up with then? Uh, we'll start on YouTube because that's what happens to be open. Misfit fan uh, Mike the Basis came up with. Well, he says he doesn't read many web comics and seemed a bit embarrassed to say Simon's cat. Which I have a friend called Simon who has a cat. Yeah, we almost bought him a calendar of Simon's cat. <laughs> There's a frisbee. <laughs> Interesting story there. <laughs> what the hell? I'll just I just don't have... know why I had to contribute that. But... <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's Simon's cat. It's yeah, it's been going for a while, but that doesn't. That's not one to take away your man card. Simon's cat is funny because it is what a cat's like. Bastards. Yeah, they, but cats are Fairy evil motherfuckers. Bastards. Yeah, not like dogs. Dogs <laughs> are lovely little bastards, but cats are very little. Yeah. Shitting in your floor, socks and shoes, bastards. Yeah, there's nothing. There's there's I also like nothing wrong. Ro- yeah, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. don't like cats, but there's nothing wrong if you are a cat person. We've only <laughs> one. I suggest everybody has an animal of some form. Goldfish count as well. Yeah. Uh, Joshua Phillips, his favourite webcomic at the moment is probably The Adventures of Dr. McNinja. I'd never heard of it. I went and checked it out and it is as awesome as the title describes. I, I honestly, the amount of comics that people spout on about. Yeah. I'm clueless. Your dog is going nuts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. As long as you're willing to except that it's just batshit crazy it, it, it's brilliant it's it is Dr. McNinja so a Scottish ninja who's also got a PhD in something yeah or is he a medical doctor I, I, I it, haven't I haven't, come up? I haven't read it no I didn't read it far enough back I've only read the recent ones and yeah it's crazy it may make more sense if I'd read the <laughs> that, but I didn't yeah so in your world this is some random ninja who's yeah. a doctor yeah. Is he a ninja? Yes. Right, okay. Because it's, it's convenient that his surname yeah. is McNinja, and to be a ninja. Uh, Firehawk Shadow Child came up with an entire pile of them. <laughs> Quickly moving on, because I've, I've only read a few of them <laughs> recently, and I, don't, I can't give them more important. I don't know any of these. Uh, Order of the Stick. Order of the Stick, yes. It's old school D&D comic. Right. Uh, questionable content, which is... Kind of a lifestyle comic of the characters, and it is very. There's a very long, ongoing story. It's it, when you get involved in the characters, it's really good. It's not one that you can just drop in. You've got to kind of. You've got to kind of yeah. build up on it. Uh, Sinfest, I didn't know much about, so I'm going to look up that and Waspy Square, or Wapsy Square. Also, never also well. never heard of. Uh, for his animation, he went with How It Should Have Ended. This sounds like something I should enjoy. Yeah, it's literally web cartoons of how films should have ended. Nice. There's also a series of just... Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Booth, uh, booth clips where it's just Batman and Superman sat in, sat in a diner booth just having a conversation about stuff. Nice. 
I think there's one where Superman is getting pissed off about the fact that Batman thinks everything can just be made better by adding the word bat to it. So it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So the iPhone. I've got the new iPhone. I've got the bat phone. <laughs> I, the thing is, I can't argue with that logic. Apple did the whole, you can add an eye to anything that makes it cool. Mm. Yeah. It's the point of making an iPad and all the jokes about feminine products. Yeah. But Bat wins. Yeah. Bat, uh, bat dog, better than a normal dog. Which reminds me, I need to somehow make him an outfit to look like Bat dog. Because <laughs> it's Halloween. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. The on. other thing he mentioned was that he used to read, as a reg- on a regular basis, Little Gamers <laughs> and PvP. Which were both very good comics, and he's kind of faded away from them as as if he almost grew out of them. And I used to read them a lot as well, and I've definitely backed off on them. They're just something about them. It just went a bit. It just yeah. South. Yeah. Um, over on Facebook, where we got more comments, uh, Mosh Miller, El Goonish Shive, or Shive. Shive. Yeah. Never heard of. Had a few beers already. Yeah. It's fine. It's shive. It's also a very small text on Facebook. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Magical. Right. Uh, too much information. Never heard of that one either, but definitely worth... We're going to have to check all of these out. I think he's making them up. I think I, he's playing on the fact that I we're probably dream, not going to have time to look at every single one. I of dream of Genie. Now, I can see that because there was a TV series of by that name. Yeah. I doubt this is related for some reason. I know. The Devil's Panties... <laughs> I've never heard of. He's making these up. No. Well, this is the problem. It gets to the end and looking for group, where geek and least I can do. I know all of them. I read all of them. I know the last one. Literally, it could have been absolute gibberish until least I can do. Well, uh, looking for uh, looking for group is made by the same people who made least I can do, but it's uh-huh. set in a more fantasy setting. It's not Fair about enough. him getting his end away. <laughs> um, Dan Allen, Ninja Comic is slash was fantastic. Cyanide and happier, happiness. Yeah, yeah. everyone knows Everybody. cyanide and happiness. It's all brilliant, though. And, yeah, and he used to love Control-Alt-Delete until they decided to stop with the main characters. That's because he thought he was the main character. Well... Or is that least I could do? I'm trying to think now which one's which. Is it... Is it... No, sorry, no, I'm thinking of least I can do. Yeah, the, the, the main character was originally based on him. Yeah. And now it's kind of not. Yeah, uh, but but Control Alt Delete, the uh, the writer killed off the main cast because he'd got to kind of a log ahead with how he could write stuff and wanted to. He wanted to venture off with it. Well, basically, he wanted to, yeah, fracture it so that he could come uh, take a break, put some more freedom in it for himself, do a bit more of a go back to more of the comedy because the con the. the Trying to tell the story in his in his update schedule didn't work. Excuse me. It'd take several months to get what effectively was twelve pages of story out. Yeah. Which wasn't working. But he's now coming getting ready to come back to that. Uh what else to see? XKCD frequent bands. Everybody loves XKCD. Loves uh Stuart Renton came with two guys and guy. And of course Order of the Stick. I, again. Order of the stick, I'm going to have to... Th- two yeah. recommendations, I'm going to have to actually look at it. Yep. Two guys and a guy, no idea. No, I, neither have I. I but, I've heard of two guys and a girl, but not two guys and a guy. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Uh, Michelle went with Strong Bad. I think I like Michelle now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good taste. Yeah, Strong Bad on Homestar Runner. Uh... Don't really watch many online information uh, animations. Hyperbole and a half for comics. Now that is actually quite good. So definitely check that one out as well. Yeah. Uh, and we got our last two, which is Deborah Croupiers, who came up with Weeble Stuff's Narwhals. Somebody else has a favourite. Yeah. Weeble. Everyone has a favourite. Everybody weeble. has a Weeble. I don't know what mine is. You know what Fee said to me the other day? What? We should go and see the Narwhals. <laughs> Apparently you can go to Canada and go see narwhals. Yes, you can. Which I spent the next hour playing narwhals on repeat <laughs> wandering through the house. Oh dear. <laughs> and happy tree friends. I remember my, you... bro- my brother had a t-shirt of happy yeah. tree friends. Do you remember that it was on? Just, it used to be on TV. It came on MTV, didn't it, yeah. at one point? 
Yeah, I remember thinking they can't possibly... Oh, they are showing it. <laughs> <laughs> they, can't <Okay>. really, <laughs> they can't really be... Oh, yes, they are. And they haven't cut it. What the fuck? <laughs> it's haunting, isn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, it, it's twisted. But never mind. <laughs> and Trevor came up with Foamy the Squirrel, who is a guilty pleasure of mine as well. I love Foamy the Squirrel. I've gone back and watched them. It's not as good as you remember. It's Some of them are good. Tech support ones. <laughs> Fantastic. Foamy rants, but... Foamy, uh, when he's ranting, his fan mails, the tech support ones, all good. It's, I hate to say it, but it's the female character. Yeah, I don't She's know. A, I, I don't like... You're not a fan of her. I can't remember the name, the character's name. Psh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the, the way they treat that character and the way her story kind of plays out. It just doesn't yeah. sit well. Uh, Cyanide just, Happy is another one. Yeah. For me, it's a yeah. bit. Yeah. I, I do like his rants. I, <laughs> I think everyone likes a good rant. If it's in a high pe- high pitched voice with no punctuation, yeah, it's even better. Well, might just be me. Anyway, uh, that's week. it. That's it. So we'll go on to this talking point. Now we've done. Which game in your backlog are you most looking forward to playing? But that. Plus uh, Rev3 coming up with a similar topic. Uh, put in mind the fact that we're about to cross console generations. Yeah. Which means that there are certain games that are in our backlog that as much as we should have played them and as much as we should go back and play them, we know damn well... Is this games we own or just games we are a bit sad we've missed out on? This is games we are going to miss out on because of the mm-hmm. generational switch and we really should have played being that we are right. gamers. Okay. Because we're not expect in your backlog doesn't mean you own it. In your backlog means you want to play it at some point. Depressingly, every time we've discussed my backlog, I've talked about games I own. <laughs> yeah. Which Yeah, we, we are a novelty. <laughs> we accept this. We're, we're almost like really be... shit collectors, aren't we? Yeah. There's nothing related, nothing collectible about them. We just yeah. haven't got around to playing them. More, more, for most people, in your backlog will mean you haven't got around to buying it yet. Yeah. In fact, for most people who sign up to this rental, a long list. for most people who sign up to rental service, it'll be that list that's in your waiting queue. <laughs> the ones that are going to start coming through when you get your new console. Yeah. You don't want them to come through anymore. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yours. <laughs> it's probably going to be Bioshock Infinite. I really want to play that game because I loved Bioshock. Uh, Bioshock Two, a bit meh, but <laughs> Infinite kind of. Forgets that ever yeah, happened. He wrote it. Um, I really want to play Infinite, but I've still got GTA to do. I've still got all my Wii U collection. I've still got Assassin's Creed 3 to go through. Assassin's Creed 3 may get sacked off. Uh, <laughs> as depressing as it is, GTA has almost made me stop playing or contemplate not getting a PS4. Really? Yeah, I can see longevity, which means I'm probably going to stick with the PS3 for a bit. Yeah. I don't think Killzone's going to be that good, especially not when half your mates don't play it. Yeah, I suppose. So, anyway, well, back on track. Yeah, so uh, Bioshock Infinite's in there. Uh, Dishonored. Really want to play Dishonored. But th- You're this just is stealing all of my conversation from earlier, aren't you? Well, yes, <laughs> kind of. But this is a, it is kind of a problem purely of time. Because can you think of a single game that's come out in the last six months that's less than 40 hours worth of game? Saints Row 4. In fact, no. <laughs> Not that fussed about that either. I No, I want to play that because I love the Saints Row series. Fair enough. But I'm not putting that in the list that I'm going to miss because I will go back and play that. I'll wait. I'll pick it up on <laughs> Steam. Sure. I'll yeah. pick it up on Steam at some point. That's the problem. Anything but... cross-platform, I think you can... You still have that... Little glimmer of hope that you yeah. go back and play because it is on your PC. So what's what's in your list then? Well, as I mentioned, Dishonored. Yeah, but that's one in my collection that you, I've got. You've actually got that play. one. Yeah, Skyrim. You've got again that again in my collection. I suppose I could put. I suppose I could count Skyrim as well because I played it. I got bored of it. I traded it in. <laughs> that's, that's not a reason to go back and play them. That's yeah. just basically I didn't enjoy it all that much. 
I'm sure there's people well, screaming. No, no I did enjoy it, but I, I but I got through so many hours of it and thought, hang on, I'm not even a third of the way into the game. This is going to take me far more hours than I'm willing to put into a game. And this is coming from an MMO, MMO player. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> um, Battlefield series, I missed three. I've got it with the Karkin add-on. Oh yeah, PC. Battlefield 4's out tomorrow, Sealed, isn't it? Yeah, Battlefield 4's out, yeah. So that's going to be... <laughs> Another one I probably need to pretend to play but miss. Um, <laughs> I've done Dishonored, haven't I? Yeah. I've done all that. Um, there's Assassin's Creed 3. Not played that yet. I didn't fi- finish Brotherhood. Yeah. Which means I'll probably not play 4. <laughs> so even if I want to play 4, I've got to go back and play 3. Brotherhood, I realise you can probably skip the end of that. But 3, I need to play. Yeah. Four. Probably going to miss that because uh, really, there's just every game in existence. <laughs> I should since Rush probably go play. I've not played any of the Infamous games. Well, I lie. I played a bit of Infamous One and thought this is just shit. The controls. The control. Yeah, but, the controls in One were a bit janky, but they, they was a good game all round. It's like dealing with a coke addict. Yeah. You say go left and it fucks off to China. <laughs> You can't do little move. I, I hate that kind of over the top kind of. Yeah. Look how fast paced it is. No, you're just making everything stupidly sensitive. Yeah, I suppose there is that. Sorry, I'm going off on a rant. <laughs> Every game ever, basically, is my answer to this. <laughs> you're going to have to pick one. I've had a couple of years of not gaming. So, um. The Call of Duty series. Although I don't like the series, I oh, enjoy the game. I've never played any of the Call of Duty series other than that. I was it Call one. of Duty where the general? You shoot the general. Which, which one was the general? Uh, f- Is that four? Four, I think. Yeah. Four, four. That's mine. The one that kicked it off. But yeah. yeah, unfortunately, I, I can't pick one. Too many games that I've not had a chance to play. I think. And then you, it's, it's more a case of which do you think you would never get round to playing? All of because, them. Because, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and play card. Assassin's Creed I might do so we'll drop those yeah. Assassin's Creed are in my ooh I might play them at some point list Battlefield 3 definitely never going to go back and play Dishonored Bioshock Infinite I've got Dishonored but it's on Steam and I don't have a working PC so that's going to be another few years yeah. I'll be playing these games when they're classics yeah, you know, when suppose... everyone goes the top 10 games you should have played in the 20th century and oh, sorry, 21st century and all the kids will be going, whoa, 21st century, that was years ago. And I'll be like, I've still got them. <laughs> Sealed. They, they, there is that, yeah. It's, cause what, what I'm My thinking, life's depressing. What, what I'm thinking of is the fact that there is going to be that... that <clears throat> after the initial launch uh, stampede of games... You have the... Th- and then a massive launch. Yeah, you there. have the year and a half's worth of drought. Yeah. Where they're making games cross-platform for both previous and current generation and the previous generation is always cheaper <laughs> so yeah especially when you see the price of next gen games yeah 55 pounds or some of them 40 pounds 45 it's just... I'm looking at Blockbuster hmm? Blockbuster where, where Love Film have sacked off the uh, the games rental Blockbuster are now doing online games rental at a re- decent price well they've just won yeah but they haven't confirmed that the PS4 and uh, yeah. Xbox One is, but I'm expecting them to. What's even better about the Blockbuster one that makes it even better than the Love Film ever was is if you rent a game from Blockbuster, you take it into your local Blockbuster store, you can swap it there and then, rather than sending it back and waiting for another one to turn up. Now, oh man, there's Americans now going, Blockbuster, are they talking the same one? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gone bust in America. It's gone it? it's completely, completely dead gone. in America. Yeah, we've still got it, and apparently it's good. So. Yeah. Games rental. Great. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Because I want Knack. I have no idea what Knack is. It's one, it's one of the PS4 launch titles. Plat, uh, platformer, the little character that the environment smashes around him and he becomes bat with him and he grows and shrinks. And You really need to catch up on what's going out. Yeah. Don't. I'm probably, I shouldn't be in these podcasts. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm here purely for entertainment. Yours, not theirs. Yeah. No. <laughs> here to amuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds evil. That sounds like I'm a whore. <laughs> dance, monkey boy. Um, yeah, that's Go it. <laughs> I can't dance. I've been through that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going with I'm going with Bioshock Infinite I'm because going with I'm everything because that's the one that I think I don't think I'll ever get round to playing, but the one I 
most will, will most play. regret yeah. not playing. Yeah. Because of how much I loved the original Bioshock. Yeah. I'm I'm still my problem with Bioshock Infinite is I I look at it and I think, is it anything new? Or is it just the same? I've read reviews, and, you know, it's brilliant, it's great, but then any one that's, you know, you always get the cynical reviews, yeah. the ones that really dig into it. And everyone that really digs into it, digs in for it, into it for all the same reasons I wasn't so fond of the original Bioshock. Yeah. Which makes me think, am I going to enjoy it? And I don't know. But anyway, that's on my list, along with Dishonored. Arkham Origins! Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, but you that's... probably will play that. I probably will. Yeah. But I it's... expect you to. But it's the uh, discussion about the reviews that, that what you just said about the reviews or one of the, the two that I've seen so far for Arkham Origins say it's a good game it's well driven story but however <laughs> it's the same game the yeah. combat's the same the, the, the glitches are the same it's literally just the same game again it's well, I remember playing what was the last one uh, City. City I remember playing that I blasted through the story and then had all these side missions and I thought Fuck it. Why would I want to play all them? There's nothing to gain from them. To, yeah, to drive See, you through. But I, I played them at the same time, so. I uh, do... Yeah, I played the odd one, but it's just. And for for me, the side missions were, the side missions weren't for. Uh, your general gamer. Your they were side... for the completists. The well, they, they weren't. For the, the, no, they weren't for the completionists. They well, they were, but they they also all the side missions were actually there, for your comic fanboys. Right. So, so the so the mission uh, the the one where you've got to find the dead bodies where the, there's bits they've got the missing skin. I'm gonna pretend I got that far. Yeah, yeah. Well, you that leads you up to, to finally finding this building, and that's where you meet the character Hush from what uh, from the Batman no- uh, graphic novel Hush. Right. <laughs> so they they put lots of east they kind of yeah. like massive Easter eggs. For... Yeah. So basically, they were massive Easter eggs for your comic fanboy. So one of the, right. one of the ones where you found symbols on the side of buildings would lead you to Azrael. Right. Whereas <laughs> I played the game and thought, well, that was good. I can go fight these people on the street or go play another game. Yeah. And I went and played another game. I'm, I'm sure Grand Theft Auto is going to get to that point. The online bit is the only thing keeping Grand Theft Auto going. <laughs> that's the, that's still, it still amuses me every time what? you mention that because of because of the memory. The one time I took it online and you were online, first thing I did, you pulled up the car, ready for me to get in, shot you in the face, and drove off in your car. <laughs> At that point, I didn't know you could kick you out easily. But anyway, <laughs> people, yes, what? what game that is in your backlog? Do you? think you're not going to get round to playing that you will most regret not getting round to playing. I'm going to have to find somewhere condensing that in the question title. Yeah. Which games are you going to regret not playing? Yeah. Which games from this generation are you not going to re- uh, are going to regret not playing? Yeah, fair enough. Otherwise you get PlayStation 1 answers yeah. and all sorts of things. Anywho, yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> what an ending. If you're seeing this, you've probably just watched a video of us rambling about games or drinking or some kind of nonsense to do with comic books. Or you've watched me playing a game. Yeah, all that. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, you can find us on Twitter. He's Drunken Gamer. I'm D underscore Gow. And you can find us on many places on the internet. But more importantly, there's some little buttons somewhere down here if you're on YouTube. Um, just press one of those, subscribe or like. Yeah, the, the, the one that looks like a thumbs up. We like that one. Yeah, press that one. Because that means lots of people will think we're awesome. And I'll be honest, it's just internet points. Oh, no, no, no. It, like it's not that lots of people will think we're awesome. It's just that Google will think we're awesome oh, and Trevor, recommend us to more Trevor, people. Trevor, Trevor, press these buttons. <laughs> <laughs>